What's up, science team? Groundbreaking news. Nickelodeon has put slime in space. This project has been in the works for almost four years now. And on July 25th at 6.01 p.m., a SpaceX rocket took off from Launch Pad 40 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station with a very special payload. Inside this rocket, there are vacuum sealed packets of real Nickelodeon slime to be used for science demonstrations in outer space. And the coolest part is that Nickelodeon brought me down to Florida to experience the whole thing, which was totally insane and honestly, like mind blowing. What? Okay, so here's what the actual packets of slime look like that went to space. bag we're putting 340 milliliters and we'll have six bags the astronauts are going to do a variety of different experiments on space station and they're going to be using syringes exactly like these and they're going to be extracting the slime from the bag and then sucking it into this syringe and they're going to do make little balls of slime and then they're also going to spray slime at each other. And then we clean the rest of the residual slime out of the tube with a cotton swab. So everything also that goes to the space station has to be barcoded. The space station, the internal volume is about the size of a five bedroom house, so it's big. And every six months or so, you have a new family moving in and then moving out. So imagine if you're at your house and a new family moves in and they go in your room and they don't think your bed should be there or your clothes should be in this drawer, so they're gonna move everything. After a few families did that, you would have no idea where any of your things are. So what the astronauts do is they use a scanner just like you can use at a regular store scan the barcode, and that tells the people on the ground where that item is stored. Now, my first day down just outside of Orlando, where the launch site was, I kind of got like the lay of the land, and here's what I learned. I'm not gonna lie, it is super hot out here. Um, this is Florida. I'm not wearing sunscreen, I should be. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the countdown clock, so that you know, Three, two, one. This is the clock that's actually gonna be the real countdown clock to let people know when the rocket is actually going to launch. It's digital. I assume these are all LEDs. So I'm here with Sophie. Sophie, you're like a big space person, right? Like I'm into space. You love space. I love space. I have slime on my finger. It's gooping right there. What is your prediction? What is going to happen when the slime goes into outer space? I predict the astronauts are gonna have so much fun sliming each other. <laughs> They're gonna keep asking for more slime. You could actually slime people like laterally, meaning like sliming could now happen in a whole different it's way. It's gonna be like 360 degrees of slime. <laughs> When you get ready to go the other direction, it takes, a, it takes a crew of 20 to operate it. The boosters would come in from Utah. We finally got out to the actual launch site. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys. It's pretty impressive. It's really cool. It is way bigger than what I thought. It is enormous. That is where the rocket is. Hey, who am I with? Wallace. Would you go to outer space? Of course I would, as long as I could come back. Now, what would you do in outer space once you were out there? Uh, I'd probably look at the view, take some photos, uh, so soak it all in as much as I can. Now, what would be your prediction? Like, how would this slime operate differently because I, you're in outer space? Well, I think I'd have to walk into the slime. Like, I would need to, ah. like, because it's a good ball up, right, as a liquid, so yeah. I'd probably have to wander my wander through the slime, and it just slowly but surely hit my face. If they send us up, I promise you I'll do it. <laughs> this place is huge. This is where they actually work on the rockets before they wheel them out. I was then invited to a press briefing where I got to talk to the people that are behind sending slime to space. Uh, my first question has to do with the slime. What do you think this is actually going to do in outer space? My best scientific prediction. Well, I suspect uh, <laughs> if they try to slime an astronaut, 
It's <laughs> not going to work like it would on Earth. We don't know. That's why we go and do these things. And then we're going to have some curriculum out there for uh, young folks to work with and try to explain and understand and answer those questions. And can you say space slime three times fast? Space slime, space slime, space slime. <laughs> Nailed it! That was perfect. It was in this briefing that I learned that the slime will be sent 243 miles directly up from the Earth's surface to the ISS or the International Space Station. And it's going to get there by hitching a ride on the SpaceX Dragon capsule powered by the Falcon 9 rocket. It's super big and super powerful. Now the rocket has to be timed perfectly in order to battle Earth's gravity and dock with the ISS. If the rocket can't be sent up in this very specific window of time, which is only a few minutes, then the entire launch is canceled and it's rescheduled for the next possible date and time. The weather has been the thing that has made this nerve wracking because the weather has to be exactly perfect for this rocket to launch and the current forecast is only 30 percent there's only a 30 percent chance that this thing is actually going to go up into the air and what do you think i think it's gonna happen today oh, wow yeah, that was sure. so direct so oh, yeah. fast oh yeah no doubt what does everybody think's gonna happen it's going up it's going up yeah <laughs> no they called it. It's a cut. Everyone's sad. The weather just wasn't holding out. Again, this is rocket science. This actually is rocket science. Safety is the number one priority. We're gonna we're gonna reschedule for tomorrow. We're T minus two hours right now. Although there's actually water all over the ground right now. It's been raining all day today. The window of time that this rocket is supposed to go up into the air. It looks like it's not gonna be raining at all. It looks like there's not gonna be any clouds. I'm thinking this is gonna go down. I'm bringing together all the good vibes of the universe. This is officially take two. We've been upgraded now. It's 50% chance that this is gonna happen. So I'm really excited. Let's put slime in outer space. Space slime, space slime, space slime. Space slime. The update is that it's a go for weather, meaning there's no issue with the weather at all. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And lift up of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. Oh my god! That is crazy! It's so bright! And there goes slime in the outer space! <laughs> There's actually a trail right here and there's a shadow from that that the, that the sun is casting right there. So the rocket's actually gonna come back down here a little bit and it's gonna scare the crap out of everybody because it's gonna be like a big lamp. What'd you guys think? Yes! Yes! What are your first thoughts? Speechless, it's amazing to be here. Present is such amazing technology. is going a long way and it's gonna take us even farther, guys. That is crazy. You can see the rocket actually coming back down. It's, it's essentially, it's pumping the brakes right now. So what it's doing. Wow, it's coming right back down. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. It was totally successful. So the slime is now in outer space. The rocket took it all the way up there and then it came back down and it landed. How excited is everybody? Yeah! It's an absolutely phenomenal feat of science. Slime in outer space. Space slime, space slime, space slime. Okay, so I had a little sciencey meltdown. Oh my god! But it's because sending something to space is super insanely difficult and my appreciation level for science, science experiments, uh, the breaking edge of science working so perfectly uh, is just so high and so I was so appreciative to be there and to be a part of history with sending slime to space. 
Now in a few weeks, the actual demonstrations with slime will happen in the ISS or the International Space Station. And they're gonna take that footage and they're gonna send it back down to Earth via satellites. Now when we get this footage, we're gonna make a whole new video explaining what they were testing and why slime operates the way it does in space. Also, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think slime will do in space? Like, what will it look like? How will it behave? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I wanna make sure you don't miss the video where we actually get footage from the ISS, the International Space Station, and I'll see you really soon.